Hey, g'day. Welcome to a new series where I go through all of the level 25 to level 40 quests that can be prepared early for Season of Discovery Phase 2. I'm in the Swamp of Sorrows today, free farming the Noboros Cudgel, which starts a quest that hands in for 2,250 experience. Now normally one would just get this while naturally questing in the swamp, but if it's highly populated, you might have to wait for respawns, and we don't want to do that. What we want to do is kill the level 39 mob at level 25. Now the hardest part of this isn't actually the mob himself or his adds that come with him. It's all of the stupid beasts all around the place that'll aggro you all the way from Narnia and especially those spiders because they'll whip you. Now the most important thing here is you're going to want to body pull him rather than pulling him with a ranged attack. This will perform a split pull and then when we shoot him later he'll keep following us but his adds will give up and go home. This way, we're only going to have to deal with him and not with his two bodyguards. The area where he lives is full of beasts, and some of them are inevitably going to pull onto us. We want to get as west as we can, as fast as we can, and ideally without getting hit. Once we get a little bit more west, we're going to have a lot more space to kite around without any interruptions. Now, if you go too long without hitting Nobuo, all of a sudden you're not on his aggro list anymore but your pet is and he's going to go onto your pet even though your pet hasn't taken aggro off you. If this happens all you have to do is hit him once with anything and he'll come back onto you and you can resume the kite. If you do get webbed what you're going to want to do is turn off cheetah straight away and turn on aspect of the monkey. You then want to flip around and face the mob that's hitting you and to try and get a wing clip off. It's going to be very, very inaccurate, you're going to have to really spam it, but you should be able to get a wing clip off before you die. Ideally you'd have a healing potion as well to make this go a little bit more smoothly. Once you've got that wing clip off, then you're going to try and like jump away while facing them a bit so you don't get dazed, and once you've got a little bit of space, turn Cheetah back on and run away again, resume the kite. Once you get nice and west, and you've got only Noboa on you and no other beasts, then the kite becomes very very easy. All you have to do is just run away with Cheetah, he can't do anything to you. I like to use Chimera Shot here, rather than the Beast Mastery rune. It just does a little bit extra damage, because against much higher mobs your pet's really not going to hit them very often, but Chimera Shot is actually pretty good at still landing. There's only a little bit of killing left to do, but we'll just run that at two times speed so that we can get it through it quickly, and then we can see the loot. Alright, we've got Noboa's Cudgel. This is going to be really useful for just keeping in our bags before we first come to Swamp of Sorrows, and then when we get there we can hand it in straight away, we don't have to worry about tracking down this mob and worrying about whether he's alive or dead or not. Now this particular pre-farm, you only get a little bit of advantage from. There are lots and lots of items like this and reputations and things that we can pre-grind that are going to make our life a lot easier while leveling. I'm going to do a video on each and every single one, so if that's something you're interested in, please do subscribe, it helps me a lot, and that way you can see all of the different tips and tricks to get you to level 40 as fast as possible in Season of Discovery, Phase 2.